It's a Ninja. Whoa, front wheels in the air. Ninja 1000 in. We'll go. Wow. Here it is, the 2024 Ninja 1000 SX, the Wolf of Main Street. Stay with me. You're not going to want to miss it. The first thing you'll notice is this beautiful TFT screen. Let's get this thing started and get going. We're going to start out in road mode. Man, this is an awesome bike. It's about a 515, 520 pound bike. It's got a five, uh, five gallon uh, fuel tank on it. Let's get going here. Quick shifter up and down. The first thing I can tell you is I was expecting the feet, your feet to be just a little bit high on this from what I had read up on. Let's get those mirrors adjusted. Let's see here. I never remember to do that. Oh well, we just go with it. Anyways, man, the first thing I can tell you, one thing that you will notice right up front, this thing is super, super smooth. I mean, the, the engine, you can see it revving on the tack, but you really, can, it doesn't translate through the bike. I mean, it, it's just super smooth. Really, really smooth. Probably the, one of the smoothest bikes I've, I've rode this year as far as the engine uh, translating through the bars and the pegs. Man, this thing has got a quick shifter up and down. It's got cruise control. I mean, what else could somebody want? This is a long, uh, a long distance touring bike. This is actually in the sport, uh, sport touring class, I believe. Let's get out here. There we go, that quick shifter. Oh yeah, it's super smooth, man. Let me close that helmet up so I can hear myself think. Man, this thing has got excellent tip in. It reminds me of uh, the Suzuki GSX-S, I believe. But uh, it's got your lean indicator on it. We'll go through some of the buttons up here when I get stopped. The windshield on it uh, tilts forward, and I'll show you where that, that happens. It has cruise control. I mean, this thing, I thought the feet, where you put your feet, were going to be a little bit higher. From what I was reading online, I, I try and investigate the bikes a little bit before I ride them. Man, this thing is super smooth. Oh, yeah. That quick shifter is just, just butter. Just pure, pure butter. But you got your gear flash in there. I don't know if you could turn that off. You could all also revert that uh oh we're fixing to lose a camera out here <laughs> Whew, that'd be my first one i lost let me pull over and tighten that up real quick that's a 400 dollars camera i don't want to lose it you never know what's going to happen I don't know if that's going to make it. I'll get back to you in a second here. Man, this thing is smooth. Wow. I'm going to show you the seating position. I'll pull it by the windows up here and show you how I'm sitting on it. It's very comfortable. I'm almost sitting straight up and down. But I'll show it to you. I don't know if you can see it in the glass over there. But there is the seating position. 
Well, I am leaning forward. It looks like even a little bit more in the glass, but it's almost straight up. And it feels like it's almost straight up and down to me. The glass doesn't uh, translate what it's really like on here, I don't think. But man, super comfortable. Your hands are above your hips. Man, this thing just handles so excellent. So effortless. This is a about 145 to 148 horsepower bike. Uh, it's a thousand, I think it's a thousand forty-five cc's. Let's give it a go here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it, it's one to pull the front wheel up. There is nothing slow about this bike. I promise you. Man, it is so smooth. I'm so. I'm, I'm instantly in love with this bike. And if you look at the numbers every year on what sells, this bike is always in the top, top 10 of bikes selling. It's just one of those, one of those bikes that uh, they sell real well. This thing also has a six axis IMU. It's the only bike in this class that actually has a real six axis IMU. So it's got corner uh, traction control. Every, everything's IMU related. The Suzuki is a close second, but it does not have an IMU. I'm gonna get off the bike up here and show you here in a minute. But man, this bike runs so well. I'm only in road mode. Let's go up, let's go up to sport mode you got your lane indicator i've been 27 degrees on the right 24 on the left that's pretty cool oh man this thing has got perfect amount of power oh man that that quick shifter is sweet i don't know why i'm using the clutch when i'm on my bike i i never use a clutch when i'm on somebody else's i always use it I, I sometimes use it to come up to a red light, but man, this thing is smooth. That's a, that's the biggest thing I can tell you. Down here, uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's a lever in there, right down there. Let's turn this off. Push that lever down. The windshield will go up. Let's put that windshield back down there we go that's pretty cool that way if you get out on the highway and you don't want that air on you you can put that windshield up i'm sure they make an aftermarket windshield that'd be even a little a little bit more taller but i can tell you there's not a lot of not a lot of wind hit me I had a, I put this bike on my community page and said what do you want to know about it there were a couple of questions uh, one of them was heat related. This thing is running 183 degrees. I do not really feel any over. Uh, it, it's only 80 degrees here in Dallas today, so I don't feel anything that's really super hot coming from the bike at all. But uh, tells you your range on your fuel oil, uh, oil temperature it's got a fuel gauge here I mean it's got got an econo mode that'll flash up there and it'll show you you're getting man that that quick shifter that clutchless shifter is sweet man you can't even tell your you're pulling it up. I mean, I'm pulling it up with my foot, but it just does not translate to the uh, to the gear shift. There's nothing hard about it. But make sure we're getting. I'm shooting. Tell me what you think about this video today. I went to uh, 60 frames a second, uh, which should uh, even make the video even clearer. I'm using this Ace Pro. And I've got links in all my video descriptions uh, where you can get one at a discount and they'll give you a free uh, free gift with every purchase. Also, too, Brand Tune makes a tune for this bike. This bike goes up to 10.5 uh, Redline. 
and they make a tune that'll give it about 50 horse above 10,000. I'll show you a chart. You should be seeing it now. I'll show you a chart on just what they can do. And a t this bike's already quick enough, but I've got a discount code to Bren Tune, and it's Ray Bowden Rides, where you can get a, a pretty good discount. Uh, man, let's get on this thing a little bit. It's a Ninja 1000 and it's fast! Holy mackerel! We better watch out. That guy's trying to come over to Walmart! This thing ain't no... Oh yeah, it's, it's pulling the front wheel off the ground. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! This thing wants to go! Big time! Let's turn in here and I'll walk around it and show you a few things. The, uh... Oh man, it's just purring. It's running 170 degrees going down the, going down the road. Man, going into neutral is effortless. Let me get off this thing. I'll walk around it for you. The seat is about 32 inches. And I'm a 30 inch inseam. I had no trouble touching the ground either side. You've got a 190, 50, 17 back tire, and that's a Bridgestone Battle Axe. It's a Hypersport S22 on there. Making sure I'm getting everything in the in the viewfinder here. It does have the factory exhaust on it. Of course, you could. I, I like it with the factory exhaust, but this is your preload adjuster for the back. You also have an option where you can add the bags if you want to go on a, a trip and you want to add bags. I think the bags are like $2.99 a side for the back. And then there's one that will go up on the top. The slots are already there. I think it's $2.90. It does have two uh, brake calipers in the front. The front rotors are 300 millimeter. It's got Kawasaki brake calipers. They're actually... Uh, Nissan, Nissan, uh, it, it breaks. The brakes on it are real good. But you've got LED light up here. Look at this thing. That's a sexy looking bike, man. You wouldn't know that that's a little bit more relaxed bike if it didn't have these big mirrors on it. It would look like a sport bike. But it's a comfortable sport bike. This one does have ABS. It's got the KTRC. So everything six axis, IMU controlled LED light in the back, brake light. Go up here. Here's your cruise control here. Right here. You can go up one, one uh, mile power or down. Turn your cruise on there, you see it on there. We'll go to the dash. Total time, ridden, battery. 14.2 volts mile per gallon that goes when you go down the road average is 25.3 it does have a five gallon tank the paint on this thing is beautiful it's like a black it's a super dark black with metallic in it i hope you can see that it's like that cadillac escalade black beautiful high beam here and your flash to pass High beam indicator there. Look at this bad boy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. ABS 1050cc 2024 Ninja 1000SX. Leave a comment if you've got any questions or if you've ever rode one of these. This is an awesome bike. A 24 model, 12 month warranty. ABS 13699. How could you go wrong? Quick shifter on it. I mean, up and down. It's got the TFT screen. It's an awesome, awesome bike. Wow. Look at that rear tire, that 190, 50. That's a good looking bike. Wow, 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 man. That's a lot of bike for the money. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that like button if you got something from it. Leave a question on there. Plano Kawasaki Suzuki Aprilia uh, has all the 24 models in stock. 
if you want me to ride something leave me a suggestion but i appreciate y'all riding with me and uh, we're going to take this thing out on the service road and take it back we'll see you on the next one it's a ninja whoa front wheels in there ninja 1000 in we'll go wow